Good morning. This is uh, Mike Miles at Anathoth Community Farm, Northern Wisconsin, showing you perhaps is what's one of the most important videos that I've put up on our uh, YouTube page, and it has to do with increased fertility from managed intensive grazing and uh, bale grazing uh, on our farm. I've been doing that since 2008. We are like so many people uh, around the country in a very serious drought up here in, in northern Wisconsin. And we're just going to take a, a walk through uh, our pasture here so you can see uh, what managed intensive grazing can do to increase fertility. And it's, it's going to blow your mind. So uh, the steers, this is by our uh, by our barn out here. This is where they hang out in the winter time <clears throat> to get out of the wind. Uh, and the chickens are here too. So they just came through here uh, three days ago. And um, and this is what's left. Okay. This is this is what's left of the, the uh, forage that they ate. Uh, we didn't do bale grazing here, but we have moved them through with managed intensive grazing. And you can see there's uh, a good amount of residue, which is kind of what you want. You don't want them to take it down to being a golf course. Uh, but there are, I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure there is not pasture that's this good about anywhere else in the, in the county. Uh, except for people who are like hip to this. Uh, this area here, I forget the soil type it is, because, you know, I'm, a, I'm kind of a generalist. Uh, but it's kind of, it's, it's a bit gravelly. You can see even here that they did take it down uh, a little bit more than I would like it to. But, you know, it's what happens, because they are picky, and they, there's the stuff that they leave and the stuff that they like. But uh, as we go through here... Uh, I think you're going to see the way it is in a lot of our region uh, and what bale grazing has done. So, so down in here is a place where, where, we, where we did have bales here. We did do bale grazing. Uh, this got overly mature uh, this summer just because of things that went on and like how we moved them. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty dang lush uh, from two seasons of bale grazing. You can see they, their, their, their manure is still just fine. It's not, there's not too much roughage going through them, so they're getting, they're getting some protein out of this. Uh, but here, we're going from this, right here, what's left over after they've been here, to this right here which there were no bales here. It's a little too much of a slope. Uh, it's, it's, it's just not a good place to actually put bales. And so you can see the contrast between where we just were and where we're going. This is probably more what pasture around our county is looking like uh, with everybody else. Uh, it's, pretty, it's, it's pretty dry out here. And then you get over into here where uh, we actually did have bales placed here. Uh, we, did, we did two seasons in a row. And again, you can see this is what's left over after they've been through here, which is like really good. You know, they're taking it down. They take what they like. Uh, again, manure is really, you know, loose enough that you can see they're getting some nutrition out of this stuff. And here they are uh, going through forage in a drought that's this deep, okay? And again, this is overly mature, but you can see areas where uh, we got, we got some, some pretty good rain, an inch and three tenths, uh, about a week ago and there's new growth coming up through this stuff that's a little, mat a little mature. Uh, that's 
Deborah, the milk cow that lives here uh, right now, is separate from these because she's got a calf over here who's not really a calf. It's a little older, but it's still wanting to nurse, so we got to separate separate these guys. But here is what our animals are grazing in right now uh, when everybody else is, to my knowledge, like feeding hay because their pastures are worn out. There's just not enough there. And this is, yeah, this is what we have going on here from bale grazing. And you hear it all the time. Uh, it takes a hundred years to build, you know, an inch of topsoil and and people are just overestimating all this stuff with managed intensive grazing and stuff. But, but it's like, you know what? No, it works. Here it is. We've got serious drought going on. And this is what our this is what our animals are going going through. Uh, <clears throat> here's again this this area here is pretty gravelly, you know, and it's whatever soil type it is. But again, you know, I I don't know I don't have that at my fingertips, and I'm here. So they're coming through here. Uh, yeah, you can see. Plenty of new stuff coming up. Um, I'm sure that I'm sure the couple couple of rains we had helped to do that. Uh, but but then so they're they're going to be satisfied. They're going to be more than satisfied in here. And then they're going from here, and they've already been through our whole rotation uh, once. This is the only pl these areas here are the only place they haven't been in yet. And this is where we bale grazed last winter. Uh, I was going to, they beat this up a little bit here, which is fine. Uh, I was going to seed it, but I have, and I have it because I have a no-till drill, uh, but I lent it out to some other people who needed it, and it, it never came back. So uh, this area here needs a little, needs a little work. I'll, uh, I'll drill it another, another season, but you can, you can still see here, there's there's some of the bales left over uh, because we didn't have to go through them all because our pasture uh, perked up so quickly. Uh, but here is where they're here's where they're coming right now. After you know, it's probably going to take them I don't know maybe ten days to get through where they are up there, and then they're coming into this. Okay, they're coming in. They're coming into this. This is where we bale grazed. Uh, last winter and it is lush it is it is perfectly green it is not overly mature and uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say we've got the the luckiest animals in Polk County uh, who are on pasture right now uh, you'll see the, the stark ending of what I'm talking about in terms of of where the bales were and uh, where the bales were not, you know, right here. Again, here you see, you know, it's it's up to my knees where we're coming through here. Here's the uh, the line of demarcation right here. So there's all of this back here, and this is from one season of bale grazing back here to here which is pretty burnt out. And, uh, and, and this here is still looking better than what some animals are going through here in Polk County. So here, yeah, you can see this is, this is, this is what this uh, should look like if we weren't doing the bale grazing. And, and then you look back here. So uh, any questions? you know, comment, whatever, uh, bale grazing, manage intensive grazing, uh, in a time of climate change, really does increase fertility, increase, it increases water infiltration, you just need to do this, uh, have a nice day.